First thing I want to do, you have got to know your four major numbers. Ladies and gentlemen, this is extremely important. It's 2023. If you do not know your numbers, if you're struggling with your personal finances and or business finances, you're in debt, you're negative cash flow, low cash flow, uh, fluctuating cash flows each month. You, you you don't know what you make. You don't know what you keep. You don't know what you're spending. Uh, it's time that we just put time into it. I mean, that's a, that's a the first step is like, okay, we admit and we identify there is a problem in the area of your personal and or business finances, right? So you admitted it, you identified it. The next action step is to simply put time into it. Now that could be in the form of watching video content to give you context as to what action to take, right? That would be really effective or reading books or hiring a coach, financial coach, consultant, a business consultant, right? So you're either gonna put money into it or you're gonna put time and effort via free content, right? Maybe even some free PDFs, free books, whatever it is, that would be the next step. Now it's like, okay, we have figured out what those action steps are. Now it's a matter of, okay, I'm gonna take 60 minutes a week, 60 minutes every other week, okay? Or at least one to two hours a month, right? Like we just need to schedule it, put it in the agenda so that we can move forward there, right? Now, I like to simplify it when I'm gathering my numbers. There's four major numbers you need to know. You need to know what's coming in. How do we figure that out? By simply looking at our bank statements, right? Our different income streams. If I just have one income stream, my job, my career, right? Then I can see the pay stubs. I can see the bank account. So I know exactly what is coming in. Now, if I'm an hourly employee or if I'm a salary plus commission, now there's fluctuation, okay? So all I need to do if I'm a type of individual that has fluctuating income, all I, all I have to do is go 90 days up to one year back in time and gather all of the bank statements to get an average, right? So you can do a 90 day average, or you can do a one year average. This is what I produced. This is what I took home net, divide net by 12. That's how much money I am averaging per month. From there, expenses, okay? Gotta know where every dollar goes. Now there is ways to calculate expenses or plan for expenses. Now there is a big community that has a budget, okay? A lot of people believe in budgeting, great. So if you like the idea of budgeting, right? You like the idea of creating categories for the different areas that you spend money in or having separate accounts to take, to take care of certain bills. Okay, cool. You're going to want to look at people like uh, debt free millennial, um, descendants of the Dave Ramsey community, the fire community, right? You're going to want to look at some of those content creators. If you're like myself, where you don't budget, you just simply calculate what you spend per month, where you spend it, you simply look at the bank statements, you see where every dollar goes, and then you minus your income from expenses, and then you see what you're left with, which is that monthly cash flow. From there, what I simply do, once I know where every dollar is going, I look at the guaranteed bills, right? Stuff that doesn't fluctuate. I have that right here in one category. I'm like, okay, this is what I spend. Then I look over here in the non-guaranteed bills, food, gas, miscellaneous, uh, house products, bathroom products, um, eating out, dining out, entertainment, vacation, birthdays, holidays, New Year's, da 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 Okay, cool. I look at, I go back 90 days up to a year and I see exactly how much money I spent, divide that by 12, and then I learn how to create a lifestyle. I learn how to create an income, I'm sorry. I learn how to create an income that matches that lifestyle, that lives above it, so that I don't have to stay within a budget right like i don't have to get a headache or get stressed when i go 500 dollars over this budget or 700 dollars over this budget right what has worked for me is to simply know what is going on in my finances know exactly where money is going and then identify where are the leaks in my personal finances so instead of trying to reduce cut uh rice and bean diet like put more stress on an already stressful position, I'm simply looking for leaks in my personal and or business finances. What would be a leak? An example of a leak would be, 
I have five to seven upwards of $10,000 per month in bills that can be paid with a credit card, but I'm running it through a debit card, a checking account where I'm not earning any money whatsoever from that debit account, not earning any money whatsoever from that debit account to use that debit account. But there are offers over here with these different credit cards where I can earn $200 back, $500, $700 when I spend 6,000 or more in the first 90 days, when I spend 5,000 or more in the first 90 days, 2% uh, cash back, 3% cash back, 5% cash back, 3% <clears throat> cash back plus a match at the end of the year on all of the cash rewards that I earned in one whole year in the first year. So if I earned $2,000 in cash back rewards in the first year, they'll match it boom i got four grand so if i spend five thousand a month on credit cards that's sixty thousand dollars in a year right and i'm earning say three percent cash back that's one thousand eight hundred dollars and let's say the first 90 days they gave me a three hundred dollar uh, statement credit for spending five thousand or more within the first 90 days that's that's two thousand $100 back into my economy. So instead of spending 60,000 a year minus 2100, I'm now spending 57,900 a year. So I didn't change the lifestyle. I simply redirected or increased the flow, the velocity of money to recapture $2,100 a month and ongoing, right? So then I look at from there, 57,900, right? My actual cost of living is 60,000 a year of bills that can be ran through a credit card. Let's just say in my personal finances, it's more like a hundred thousand, right? In the neighborhood of about a hundred thousand, you know, I'm a liar. It's more like 120, about 120,000 between personal and business that I'm running through credit cards and honestly, probably more than that. So I average about 2% cash back rewards that's two thousand four hundred dollars right and if i did three percent which it's probably more like three percent that's three thousand six hundred dollars so instead of paying 120 a year minus 3600 minus another 200 500 700 because multi, you know times that by so many different credit cards where you're getting the statement credit say minus another thousand off of that so now i'm actually out of pocket 115 thousand four hundred dollars as opposed to one hundred and twenty thousand right so i'm already accounting to spend 120 but now i'm down to 115 115,400 care to make it sweeter let's make it sweeter okay from that hundred and twenty thousand dollars i'm down to 115 four divide that by 12 we're now spending nine thousand six hundred and sixteen dollars per month then of that 115,000, let's say there's about half that number, right? Say just just 50 grand that are these guaranteed bills on a monthly basis that I could switch from monthly to annual and save roughly 10% off the bill itself. 10% off the bill itself. So, 50 grand times 10% is another $5,000. So instead of spending $120,000 a year, I just rerouted and brought it all the way down to $110,400 a year. That's a what 10, 13% savings or whatever that may be. Look at how my lifestyle didn't change and I was able to recapture all this money and cash flow. Care to make it sweeter? Let's make it sweeter. In addition, to getting cash back rewards, statement credit, switching your bills from monthly to annual and running it through the credit card to give you time on 0%. So there's no cost of borrowing, right? You're saving 10 upwards of almost 20% off of your net operating income in an entire year, which is multiple thousands of dollars, okay? To make it even sweeter, we look again at all of our bills where we where do we go where do we spend money out okay i spend money at macy's i spend money at this restaurant i consistently go to this restaurant chick-fil-a or i consistently go here i consistently go there 
why not sign up for each and every one of these institutions that have memberships, rewards programs on top of the rewards that you're already getting through your credit card. So now you're getting a free meal at Chick-fil-A every time you shop at Chick-fil-A, every time you order at, you know, Outbacks, every time you go to whatever restaurant it is, every time you go to a restaurant, every time you go to the mall or a store, you rack up points every time you go to Publix, every time you go to Walmart, every time you go to Whole Foods, whatever it is, Target, you're getting points every time you shop there. So you're getting cashback rewards for shopping for things you already know you're going to get. Then you're getting points on top of that, where then you come back, you've got the coupons and you've got the rewards from those stores, which reduces what you were already going to spend money on reduces right care to make it sweeter let's make it sweeter right how many layers are we so far about five layers deep right we've got cashback rewards statement credit switch from monthly to annual right join mem uh, become a member at the institutions and locations that you already shop at maybe i missed something here's the fifth layer fifth layer here's where it gets even sweeter let's say you shop at sephora or What's the other one? Ulta, right? Let's say you shop at Sephora and Ulta. This is for the, 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 the women, right? You you do the makeup, you do the the liner, the the lashes, you do the skincare, the management, all that stuff. You know what? Even for the gentlemen too. What am I what am I talking? Because I, I use skincare products and 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 all the different things to keep this face healthy, right? Keep the skin healthy. So when you do this you're shopping at a retail store that maybe is overcharging you for certain products and services that you're already using. So it's not a matter of removing the things in your life that improve your life on a certain degree. It may be like that for a period of time because you're simply a wild spender. Like if you have five different day creams and five different night creams and seven different, uh, the pens, the eye pens for your eye, eyebrows, and you got 20 different, you know, makeup product. Yeah, you've got it. You may have an issue if you're making, if you're doing paycheck to paycheck. Let's identify what that issue is. Or for the gentleman, you've got 47 different snap on tools. You have the same screwdriver, but you got 47 different brands. You've got 17 different drill bits and you're not even repairing much because you have a full-time job. The tools just sh sit in the shed. They ain't doing nothing. Taking up space when it could have been used as a home office space, potentially for wife or yourself to generate more cash flow. Shots fired. Yes, we're shooting shots today. So instead of that overspending on the things that you are already shopping for, instead of going to Sephora or Ulta Beauty, back to my example, maybe go to Marshall's. Like I just had a mind blowing experience recently where my girlfriend and I, we went to Marshall's. Typically I go with her to the Sephora and the, and the Ulta beauty. Right. Um, and then there's another store. I forget what it's called. So we go there typically for the different makeup products. And let me tell you for freaking powder at that store, it's like 50 something bucks, maybe more. The Huda, the Huda brand. Some of you know this. I walk into Marshall's. We're looking for. A day cream we're looking for the pen thing um we're, we're looking for different stuff right 4.99 3.99 7.99 8.99 guys i walked out of there with 15 different things that i probably didn't need but i was just stunned by the pricing so i was able to get 15 things whereas other stores i would only get two things so now i'm getting more for my dollar more for my dollar right same products same value cheaper prices now the only downside is when you do walk into a marshall's or a ross sometimes these stores are a little you know uh disorganized right might take you a little longer to find the product so it's like a time thing i'm speaking to those who are living paycheck to paycheck low cash flow even negative cash flow here are very unique ways of recovering so much cash without having to sacrifice a particular lifestyle before we have to resort to that is what i'm saying like we just went five layers deep 
before I even removed anything from my lifestyle, from my living. Now, once I get five layers deep, the sixth layer is potentially removing something you don't need. So now in our finances, we have guaranteed bills. We have non-guaranteed bills. You can then identify needs versus wants, right? So we still haven't budgeted yet. We're just looking at what are we doing? Because if you try to budget first and you fail, how are you supposed to build momentum if you're failing each month on a budget? So go through the five layers before you remove anything from your lifestyle. Then layer six is actually removing wants versus needs, right? Okay, what is a want? Hey, let's say for example, you have Netflix, Hulu, Disney, Spotify, Apple TV, Apple Music, Kindle, Amazon Prime. The average American is spending over $900 a month in subscriptions, ladies and gentlemen. That is a fact, okay? Reason why I know that is back in 2018, 2018 or 2019, I did a video where I showed the exact number and statistics. So that was in 2018, 2019. I am almost certain that number has increased, especially with inflation being much higher. So check this out. We got these subscriptions that some of them are needs, some of them are wants. Out of the Hulu, Netflix, and Disney Plus, can I get rid of one, ladies and gentlemen, one, and replace that for education, financial education? Boom, you just figured out a way to buy my course right then and there by substitution, maybe for a temporary period of time or someone else's course or free content. YouTube University, start there. That's how you consume your time. And now you're no longer watching these shows that are making you dumber and killing brain cells little by little and uh, just wasting your time, right? Six layers, guys. That's it. That's a whole masterclass right there we can go into. So with that being said, that is the four major numbers conversation. This is where, where I dwell best. For those of you who are just hitting my channel for the first time, this is where I dwell best. I need to know your numbers, cash on hand, what assets, capital do you have? What debt tools do we have? It's my core service right here. Financial coaching, strategy, and consulting. Core service. Boom.